Hi, today we'll explore a new feature of the TwinGate admin console, which allows you to view network events right from the console itself. So previously, when you wanted to see what went on at connector level, you would go under settings, reports, you would then generate a network events report. This network event report would give you a play-by-play -play in a JSON format of all events that occurred on your connectors. Now this stays here, but it is now also available under, in a couple of places actually, under Teams. If you select any of your users, you will be able to see all activities that pertain to this user, successfully connected ones to private resources and unsuccessfully connected ones to private resources as well. So there's a couple of things those events will show. A user connecting, the device they're connecting from, the public IP address, of the device they're connecting from, the protocol they're using to connect to the resource, the resource of course, remote network, but more importantly, you will now see the name of the connector a user is transparently using to connect to the resource. You will also see whether the connection was established through a relay or peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, and when I say relay, I'm talking about the TwinGate relay infrastructure. And for resources, unlike this one, which is IP-based, you will also see whether the DNS lookup failed or didn't fail, which is a, a common cause of failure. If a connector cannot resolve the fully qualified domain name of a resource, the local DNS lookup will fail and the user will not be able to connect to the resource itself. Final call out here, the event ID, not something that will be useful for most users. However, it is a unique identifier for this event that you can use when communicating with supports to make their lives a little bit easier and pinpoint to a specific event that you want to troubleshoot. Now, last but not least, what this also allows you to do is you can access the list of activities under users but you can do the same thing at resource level, actually. If I go and click on my IP-based resource here, which represents a, an Ubuntu server, I believe, I will see the activity, not this time just of my user, but all users that have connected successfully or unsuccessfully to this resource in the past, uh, I believe, 90 days. You can generate the report from the bottom of the list as well, which will take you right back to the Network Events Reports tab. And that is it for today. Thank you.